here we are at Gecko Rock. It's about two and a half hours outside of Cape Town on the N1. Go through Toaster Feed. About 20 k's outside of Toaster Feed. You arrive at this lovely spot. Very well managed, very beautiful. Got to late last night, it was dark, so I didn't really get to see what it looked like. Woke up a few minutes ago, as you can hear by the croaky voice. It's greeted by this, this beautiful landscape. The lovely campsites. There's a family there that arrived late last night in the BMW 5 Series, which is now converted to an X5. So I can, you do need a, a vehicle ground clearance to get in here. But obviously if you come in really carefully, you can get in. Thank you. So as you can see, even if you don't have a setup like we do, they've got some lovely huts over here. Um, I think they are currently occupied by two families. Very nice. The pollution facilities are really good for a campsite like this. It's rustic, but it's it's not going to scare off the more faint-hearted. Open shower. Toilets. It's got a gas geyser there, so you got hot water. I mean, who'd not want to have a shower and have that view?
dead? Can I see it? Take up the sack now if you want to get to put the bag on. Redelijke werkje, hè? Ja. Redelijke werkje. Maar ach, pas dit achter oor. Pas ook okay. Ja, ek is gemaakt ek werk die mannen daar buiten. <laughs> Alright, so if you need to pre-tension your winch after having used it, but you don't have enough space, this is my idea. I'm sure other people have done it. Just use a snatch block, reduces the length by 50%, but increases the force on the rope. But then obviously it doesn't half the speed. So the idea is wind them in first time round. And obviously connect this to the vehicle first before. <laughs> <laughs> so wind him in the first time, then bring him out the second time, and then take it back. Fast and a half turn back. That was actually a lot more efficient than the usual pretensioning process took half the time with a, with a snatch block. A lot easier on the hands, have gloves, but the tension on the rope is less because doing the double snatch. Yeah, so that's a viable option to pretension your your rope if you don't have um, enough space. Definitely worked. In case you're wondering how you have to do that, is if you don't pretension the rope and it's loose on the spindle and then you need to use it <coughs> which in my case was many years since I last used it it'll bind up because the loose rope pulls into uh, the spool and then it gets stuck and then it's not a good place to be
this is gonna be interesting. I'll tell you what, this route, it's good. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's made for the, for the 4x4 enthusiast. It's not for the overlander. Um, it's got some nice challenges. Jimny struggled on a few areas here and there. I mean, two recoveries so far. But it's good fun. It really is good fun. I think it's probably the nicest 4x4 route in the Western Cape. Okay, Dolphin Back is, is up there, but it's a different type of route. That's a sand route, mostly. This is great. This is really good fun. Here we are at the, the viewpoints, almost the end of the Seattle Trail. It's quite a lot longer than what we expected. There were two recoveries of the Jimny, three, one with a winch, twice the snatch strap. No, it's now snatching, just really pulling it up a few places where it really couldn't get up. Jones has some challenges with his suspension. It's always encouraging to realize you've got to do an upgrade. Every 4x4 owner's dream to have a justifiable reason for new stuff. But here we are at the top, having a very late breakfast, or maybe even lunch. There's a picnic spot a little bit further on, but <laughs> most members of the family are hangry. Hungry and angry at the same time. Parents are tired, kids are irritable, so we decided to stop here and have our, have our meal, open up the awnings. Take a break, much needed. There are a lot of ants. There are really a lot of ants here. Big ones, really big ones. I mean, if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're not in your tent, it's probably because the ants have carried you away. Like the big ones aren't up here. Anyway, it's been a pretty good, pretty good trip. I'd definitely recommend it if you're somebody who's in the Western Cape or traveling through the Western Cape and you're looking for a great place to do a bit of 4 by 4 and some fantastic scenery. This is the place. Definitely come and camp here, the campsites great uh, very well set out if you're a, if you're a, a real camper not meaning that you are living off the land kind of thing but if you just enjoy being off-grid away from Wi-Fi away from cell phone contact and, and having just the basics but the basics that you want like a nice clean toilet nice warm water then this is the place to come to the kids will enjoy it you'll enjoy it and you have an opportunity to test your 4x4 and maybe justify a bit of an upgrade With it. Joking, love it. I think it's okay for now, my yeah. Thanks, Dad. Bye, Nuts. Okay, let me tell. Wat moet je van zo? Dank je. Als je maar een beetje gesukkeld op me. Ik kan niet, ik heb de grip niet. Dit is de rheumatoid. Wat is dit? Pijnuts. 
Uh, smokeless. Maar oké. Okay. <laughs> Die beste, die beste oh ding wat jij kan doen op een kamp is om zo min als mogelijk vuil te maken. So, gebruik je scher, want je kan letterlijk alles met de scher snijden. Zelfs je vinger als je niet voorzichtig is. Nie. En soms ga je die tensie ook met de scher snijden. <laughs> Je hebt thoughts on the food tonight? Excuse me? Thoughts on the food tonight? Ehm, um, kijk maar lekker, mensen, hè? Een scorpion, right? Oh ja, dit is. Look at it. It is there. A scorpion! Let's just get a. Let's just get a close up on this. Do you see that glowing green thing? That right there is a scorpion. You got it. Can I see this thing? Come. Ja, Was hij nog hier? Was het. Wait, staan stil, staan stil. Huge! So it's some insight for the overlanding community or anybody who's even considering putting an inverter in their car or wondering whether or not it's worthwhile doing it because there's probably some diverse opinions on the matter. You probably don't need an inverter for well, most people don't need it. Um, the reason I put it into my car is there was one specific time we were traveling through the and I needed to charge up my laptop. The guy was like, Why on earth have you got your laptop with you? <laughs> well, how are you gonna get your emails and your bookings and those type of things? And if you work in IT like I do, you've got to have your laptop with you. That's just the way it works. And you can't charge it off a USB, so I put an inverter in at the time. Well, that was now, I, know, I think, three years ago. But now, with all the camera gear we have, the drone that I have does not charge off USB, so I need to charge it off inverts. And the basically camping here at Gecko Rock <coughs> has no electricity, and that's exactly what you want when you get off grid. But I need to charge my gear, so that's what we have over here. It's my inverts in the back, I think it's a 500 watt. Got my 220 volt plug over there. Yes, we have a Bluetooth speaker, the bane of all conservative campers. Enough about that, but I need to plug up those two batteries. I use the two of them today to do the filming. I have a third one which is full, but if I'm doing some more filming tomorrow, I need to charge it up and you can only do that with 220 volts. Just a little example, a practical example, a useful example of why you'd want to have an inverter. You don't need a two kilowatt inverter. Nobody needs to blow dry their hair well or kettle. But for some small electronic devices, it's pretty useful. What's happening now? What's happening now? You can hear praat now with us. The weer praat. Yeah. So the noise that comes with you, you can hear in the car. The donner weer so big slaan. You won't be bang when you start to hear. You won't be under the boom from start. That's it. Fine. What's going to break in here? Mag I say good? Water is welcome in the car. Yeah, always welcome. Always welcome. Dat is wel lekker, dat is gewoon een sterke drink voor altijd. Lekker te spieken. Final day of camp, packed up. It's 10.30 in the morning. The vehicles are pretty much prepared to go home. Opa is making a delicious breakfast with possibly every single type of meat in the world included in it. But it's a good way to start the day and end the camp with a traditional Thomas Kirby Bry breakfast. Very good reviews, had a great time here. Um, said that a few times on the camp, but after being a few days here, we can definitely conclude that we'll come back again. Bar, I thank you for coming. Thank you.
Uh, as ik kom met een 4 bij 4 route vergelijk ik hier komen 5 plus. Uh, kijk je bergen. Kijk je bossen. En uh, dus eigenlijk een erg, uh, is eigenlijk een weggesteekte kamp. Ik denk die bij mensen. Je ziet dat zeker bij mensen kom kampen, maar je ziet zo die populaire kampen wat je net ook al ziet. Zo, ik hoop ons die woorden gaat hier die kamp brengen al simpel live overlands. Uh, vrienden hier natuurlijk, dat ik die weer kan komen keer. Ik heb die kamp bij je genoeg. Het is bij een lekker kamp. En uh, bij je warm in die dag is zo, maar nogthans is het bij nice. Ons is die eer gehad om twee scherpe jongen te komen zien. Hier is een paar meisjes wat rondgelopen. Het is een kat wat hulle lekker gevangen en geëet het. So, ons het baie sensatie gehad vir die naweg. So, het was lekker geweest. Sensatie. Kota, do you want to review in YouTube language or just normal language? Give it me in your raw native tongue. Native tongue. This is why I like to come. YouTube tal, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> 20 out of 10. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it's very nice geweest, yeah. Um, goeie route geweest. I think um, recommended for anyone that likes a uh, bit of a off-road track now and again when they camp. I think it was really good. Well maintained. Um, still think we need to come back for the other plus four. Well, but um, unfortunately, I think we had a six hour trip and <laughs> we were all angry um, yeah it's so all good good facilities at the back of here um, we had a walk there this morning and um, cheap is really nice view from the cabins so uh, if you don't have tents or whatever you can still come here and uh, enjoy a beautiful view from the cabins i think there were seven beds in the one six beds and a three time and a futon, okay, yeah, so you can bring enough people to have fun. Nice view for nice braai. Um, so yeah, all in all good. 10 out of 10. Uh, Mommy? Yeah. Mommy Crump is happy. Yeah. Uh, it's been overdue. This is our first camp for the year, so it's been lovely. It's being outside, out, getting the kids out and away from the electronics. Um, good. Happy yeah, with the bathroom facilities and all the creature comforts that you would at least expect on a basic it's camp? It's actually for outdoor bathroom, it's very nice and very well maintained. I don't recommend you coming here with strangers or people you don't really know very well because it is close quarters. Um, but it's been very pleasant. I've even Brave all the spiders that live there. You know, <laughs> so I'm growing up, finding in my 40s, I'm growing up. <laughs> Like and subscribe!